Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Flawless Run where I'm educationally playing through Legendary Iron Man difficulty War of the Chosen uh, without any mods, trying to lose no soldiers, no missions and on top of uh, that Flawless as many missions as possible. So we got a supply rate uh, here um, and we cannot use team number one. Uh, got Archons, Viper, a Sectopod, which is a problem, a couple of Shield Bearers, Heavy Mechs and Andromedon, so don't forget the blue screen rounds is what the game is telling us, plus we soon need to take on another facility is what the game is telling us, this time with an Archon King uh, to uh, stop the Avatar project. So that's really what's up at the moment, let's see what kind of team I can get together. Good, so we're going in with the secondary team, VDM and Wilson as a tag team, Wrath and Bastard as a tag team, and the non-bonded Lyrical and Shinrod will round up the team. Two Mimic Beacons, I took three times blue screen rounds for the first time. We got a plethora of grenades, we got a um, crowd control uh, grenade with Wilson the second uh, here as well, and we got some shotgun to the face action, ready to go. Should be good to go. But this is a difficult mission and we might be fighting against the hunter here as well. So let's see how well we're going to do. Alright, we landed. We gotta get to the supply crates. Scouting with the Reaper will be our bread and butter in this mission. Nasty little first pack. The DM is also concealed. Let's do this. So might as well use him. Got some hostiles grouped over here. Copy that. Oh, and we got a double agent. Cool. I like to see that. I'm going. Okay, je me dirige vers la cible. Um, tell you what, Bastard could position himself here and our double agent moves up here just in case. Let's hope they are not running into us. Uh, it looks like they are. All right, that sucks. Good hit. all three attacks and why can't he shoot wait 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 what is happening we are we are completely in cover there should have been zero chance for him to take the shot why is the game cheating like that there should have been an absolute zero percent chance that he can take the shot uh, Advent only gets that opportunity in the case of you basically uh, being caught out of cover. But that was not the case. We have not been uh, caught out of cover. Oh, that is infuriating. I don't like it at all. Situations like that can end the flawless run where the game just basically says, you know what? I stop, I decide to stop playing by the rules that we agreed and instead we're now playing by my made up rules. Too bad you don't like the made up rules. Well, that's on you. Wow. 
I really don't like what just happened. If that sets a precedent, superior scope, well at least he gave us something decent to, uh, to, to use, but still, very very unhappy with uh, what just happened. That was a classical case of better strike. Uh, mm, no, what is this called? Uh, mm, yellow alert mod, where they just uh, can start getting turns without you having a chance to react, which is particularly fun uh, to play with when you're uh, when when you are not doing anything wrong. Okay, so this is a problem, this is a problem. I want to explode that. Hopefully this pack moves into here, then we can just do a massive explosion. Um, gotta reposition our sniper. Good, this should be fine. Now the core question is, you know, it does not spot out anything, which is important. Lyrical. We gotta push forward because now we're on a timer, right? Elite Trooper moves up and Bastard I think is the only one who can overwatch in case these two are moving in. Okay, they really want to get remote started. And these guys are running into the wrong direction or right direction depending on, on your preference. should be a big fat remote start now the middle section always is fun to remote start um, yeah cost us a few crates but is, is well worth it no choice. We should try to avoid damaging the crates if we want to bring home anything useful. Let's hit the Archon. Fabulous. Almost down. Down to one HP. And we do have a stock, so this is a 100% kill. Gotta love the stocks, specifically if you don't have uh, the, the ability to hit properly. So we, that's another pack. That was a pack that's already three packs. There's definitely a sector port pack. We know we were fighting against 13 enemies. Sector port for pack of four, that uh, makes it nine. Uh, minus three makes it six, four, two. There's another pack of two, potentially a patrol over here. So gotta be careful that we're not pull, uh, pulling them. Okay. Uh, there is no other high ground at the moment, so death from above is out of uh, the picture, but we still can quickly relocate with Bastard. There's the last patrol pack that I was talking about.
and the whole objective has not yet started. That's interesting. Which gives us more time, and I appreciate that. So, in order to appreciate that even more, let's position ourselves over here. Okay, lost the ability to remote hack him. Well, that sucks, but we can do a nice little overwatch trap. Let's first of all get everybody back into a firing line. So if they begin to move into us, we should be ready. Reload here. Overwatch. Um. Heading to that location. Overwatch. And if we long watch, then either of the packs could be pulled, which I really don't want. So we're just taking a better position here. They are too far away, so might as well minimize the impact of uh, squad side. And I think reload overwatch is the right thing to do. All right, end of turn. Okay, good hit. Unfortunately, these guys now have found out how to dodge. Unfortunately for them, they have parked themselves in a, a position that is not very favorable. Losing concealment, maybe that will start the actual trade process. Another fantastic remote start. Such a nice ability. We're picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. Move up. Let's get the mech. Good. Theoretically got implacable, but I don't want to move up further. For now, we're good. Uh, can get even a little bit closer with the high ground here, which I would argue is potentially the last high ground that we would get maybe the car on the right hand side just trying to maintain high ground no you can't be on there Airborne. but you can be up here move up bastard lives into full cover Overwatch and Overwatch. Good. Yeah, now the marking finally starts. Firebrand is on deck. 
So what I've learned is, if you do have a ranger with concealment, phantom, that means as long as you keep him in, con in good concealment, everything is going to be fine. Sector port is likely here. At least I would take a bet if that's the case. Who would have guessed, right? Who would have guessed? All right, getting closer. We're ignoring this one. I don't want to trigger yet. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to move our fire line ever so closer. And now it's really up for uh, up for anyone to start triggering. Um, yeah, I think the fire should be fine. Long watch, lots of overwatch. So going to lose a couple of crates. We already got a couple of them. I rather flawless the mission and kill the enemies fast now so that we can get the remaining crates. Advent just dare lifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we wanna get the rest. And of course, Central has a smart depends comment. Thanks, Co uh, Captain Obvious, for letting us know. And there we go. <coughs> All right, the sneezer of luck uh, made that one hit. The sneezer of good fortune. Sector pods coming in hot. Immediately takes a lot of shredding. What is happening? It's the second time that that happens. Third time now. This is absolute BS. There is there is no uh, dark event happening that allows them to take fi a fire. What the actual hell? Okay, let me think for a moment. I do believe I do have uh, the solution. Moves up as far as possible. Yeah, bring it, bring on the two. I don't mind. I was already treating them as if they would have been pulled. Good. We're going here. Uh, might as well mark the supplies. There's no reason not to. Hand over teamwork. five I believe this year should let me see every single one of them a deadly trap there we go fantastic. Uh, 
Now, the next uh, thing is... Let's... Run gun. I would like to get over to here, just in case. So we're going to go to here. Mark. Hand over advanced teamwork. Move to here. Now we're we can finally flank. There we go, nice little crit and burning. Um now we're double whamming. Hits the sectopod, hits the other grenade, hits those two, the claymore that is. Good, everybody is shredded now. That's great. Let's hit the sector pot. I'm just setting up the sector there and removing cover. Good, now it's a bit of a clean up here. Two, four, six, eight, nine, kill. Frostbite to take him out. Free action. Free reload. Two, four, six, eight, kill. Kill. Good, this is preparing for next round. We do. Uh, we did have Mimic Beacons just in case the whole uh, freezing wouldn't have worked. But I always love to have options. Good, I think that was a decent turn. These other supply crates will not happen. from above softens him up and gets him down I am unhappy with what I've seen the taking the action and return fire something is inherently wrong that is not how it's supposed to be
granted the chances of them were very slim always less than 10% but it's just a matter of adding up all of the 10% and at some point you will have a problem I like holo targeting, I like uh, soul harvest, I definitely like sting I think we're taking, hmm, well, he's typically the finisher and not the lead uh, for fights. So let's go with soul harvesting. Got two Alarium cores and even more important, um, a superior scope. So. For most of our soldiers, the living quarters on board the Avenger are a step up from the conditions they've had to live with on the ground. Uh, that's all good, we don't need uh, that. I'm more interested in the dark events. I there we go. That's one way to approach a problem you can't solve. Gone to ground, uh, sucks, collateral damage, more uh, active, active, active. Can, yeah, can I scroll through them somehow? Okay, so the game just basically tells you you have too many dark events we can no longer show them to you no alien infiltrator at the midnight uh, midnight raids loyalty among thieves so this year is um, uh, this year is faceless ones this year is high recruitment cost loyalty among thieves is sharing info when they capture one uh, wild hunt uh, not sure gone to ground uh, uh, dark uh, uh, the black market uh, collateral uh, damage more explosives counter-attack um, is um, a shoot uh, back but not immediately start shooting and high alert okay maybe counter-attack let me look that up real quick Okay, so after a little bit of reading into it, counterattack uh, is typically giving them overwatch shots upon revealing, which uh, in this case didn't happen. Uh, there seems to be a common bug uh, where on supply rates um, they cannot overwatch and instead what they will do is they get a standard action and they can use it for whatever they want great to know because that makes the dark event really really bad for this particular run and even better we can't get rid of it so it's just a matter of time until we're being screwed not good um i want the pursue of knowledge continent bonus might as well install that we do have plenty of supplies at this point And I am considering, given our research situation, I am considering whether we want to build a laboratory. Laboratory construction initiated. That'll just give us two additional scientists and speed up a lot of the pro uh, uh, proceeds. And this here gives us another, um, effectively another two scientists. So, not bad. We don't need reduction of contact costs. We already have that. Intel, we're fine. Might as well build faster, Avengers because why not? At this point, I am desperately waiting to get to the th uh, through the two days. The chosen finally got the information they needed to find us, Commander. <sighs> we should get ready. If history is any indication, this won't oh. be easy. It is what it is. They wanted uh, to do a defend the Avenger mission. Might as well do it. Commander, we can now employ an experimental technique to restore any soldier to perfect physical and mental health for a single combat mission. The Chosen aren't pulling any punches. They're here to take us down for good. 
We can send out two full squads to defend the Avenger and protect you, Commander. Commander, we can deploy some of our wounded troops back into combat if you feel it's necessary. This operation is critical to our efforts. We may not have much of a choice if we want to proceed. Gotta love it when that uh, happens. No, we don't want to revitalize soldiers. It's fun, isn't it? Uh, just literally one minute before the whole thing uh, started. Well, at least we got a chance to test out our new toys, the Rashi and the Katana. Great. And by the way, I built and upgraded the bolt caster. Not a bad weapon in, in the right circumstances, specifically when fighting alien rulers. It is really good. Inappropriate Murphy. And True Rebel. And we got Sonar, who is wielding this gun here. Let's use a frost bomb and for good measure blue screen rounds. And by the way, I know it sucks to change a advanced scope for a superior scope, but that's a good one. We're calling this weapon Devastator. Good. We don't have another sniper, and I don't want to use a lot of our good stuff, so we got a scope, but it's not bad. And how about confirming An auto loader. There you go. Decent weapon. Good. First team is ready. Second team. Ranger. Skirmisher. Another Ranger. I think I want another Grenadier. Just for cover removal. And... We're running thin on manpower here. Another specialist might not be bad. May only provide a single shot action, but this thing hits hard. More mimic beacons are good. A bit of battle scanners might not be bad either. Energy Sweeper, Fusion uh, Blade, uh, Sergeant and your Lieutenant, uh, so let's reconsider that and you're instead taking the Storm Gun and the Advanced Blade and AP Rounds. Viper Rounds here, Upgraded Balpap. And energy sweeper, fusion X, mine shield. And for good measure, two screen rounds. 
All right, let's give it a go. All right, so we landed. Let's fight the Chosen at about 50 enemies. First pack already triggered, fantastic. The rest of the mission goes just as well as that. We're in for a treat, gentlemen. We are in for a treat. All right, removing the most cover possible. Now this here, I think this here is the key. Let's go. start using our turrets first. Upgraded turrets are a force to be reckoned with, as you can see. Nope. Yes, let's go. Okay, running and gunning. I think we need, first of all, sight on uh, the two. These guys do have quite a bit of hit points. Specifically the elite priests. Caster sets up shot down. Nice. Well done. Moving into cover. Overwatching, True Rebel moves over, Enders moves over, and Ripper moves over as well. Good, let's see what the Chosen has to bring to the table. Immune to explosions, um, uh, defense increases after every turn, can overwatch, better hit from high ground and hates Templars. You know what? Templar would be really good in this mission. That's one of the elders chosen, and it's not gonna make things easy on us. Let's try to take care of it as quickly as possible. Okay, cool. Priest down. Removed all of the cover. Well, that's good because we have a better line of sight for the turrets. I suppose. Let's see if this is going to trigger something. So far, it's not. Trying to get our snipers into position. Um, yeah, let's move into kind of a 
an advanced position. Copy that. Let's run. Lance reloads. Good, Hayward moves in. Eight five stays back for now because I want to make sure that we're not accidentally triggering something. I think we should be fine. Not taking two shots because the explosion might trigger uh, something, so we're just going to leave it uh, injured, but not not any more than that. Good, we uh, we made uh, up for a lot of ground with that advancement. Good job. Well, Hit the armor. oh, there's another pack. Oh, I see. It did not strike the flesh. Nice overwood shot so far. That is going to be lightning reflexes. Never mind. Good, I think we can take both of the packs at the same time. You can't run and you can't uh. I relish these quiet moments before the strike. That's one turret down, but we still need to deal with the rest. Watch your flanks out there. All right, this should trigger. We needed to drop the high ground anyways. Okay, it apparently did not. Very strange. Well, listen, if you only want to fight against one pack at a time, I'm not going to be the one uh, that's pulling the other. But I must say it is strange that we're only fighting against one pack at a time. Let's remove uh, cover, even if we don't hit, like I mentioned, there's a good chance that the tree is going to be chopped down. Eh, uh, could have done that better with a face off, my bad. But it'll save the face off for a little bit later. But we're saving grenades at this point. 
Demolition is a good skill if you have the action economy to spare and the ammunition, of course. Moving to designated coordinates. There's the shredding. Fantastic hit, I like it. I'm going. That is not good. Let's just get this guy down. Lightning hands. Into another hit. Okay, continuing. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. One pack per round isn't isn't the end of the world. I typically would have taken both of them together, but okay, whatever. Still didn't trigger. Come on, this tr this triggers, right? This would be so hilarious. Frost bomb, but I might need it a, a bit later. Seems doable. This might trigger finally. And the turrets are on fire this time. Hitting the enemy nicely. Come on. Enders moves up. 
Death from above. out on my way we're moving back up uh, we're Absolute. moving forward we're green to go. Heading to that location. reload where needed Elsewise, Overwatch. Luckily for him, he's immune to explosions because the explosion of the truck is like 35 points of damage. And that would be fun to watch. Not sure if this is triggering something. It sounds like it did deal some sort of damage as you can imagine. We'll do. I don't think we can keep the high ground with Enders. See if someone moves into us. The river is a tiny bit more difficult to cross simply because there is a lack of cover. We can see them there. Yeah, that would trigger for sure. There's another pack back here. Okay, well. <clears throat> Let's remove Overwatch. Let's miss a 97% shot. Good. Overwatch gone. Now. If you say so. Moving into a better position. Not too close, but into a better one. Excellent work. Nope. 
I'm tr still trying to get the tree right in front of our face. You don't hesitate to pull the trigger. I like that. Thirty percent, not very likely to hit. Good hit. Out. Good, the Andromedon is down. Kill the Mac. Nope. Kill the Mac. Still nope, okay. <sighs> That's a mimic beacon situation. Mimic beacon very likely from here. Okay, so Enders. Moves up, hits the shell, or not. Okay, let's get the shell down. We still keep this mimic peak in here. chance to hit but we can still try I want to trigger that other pack <clears throat> Beacon out <clears throat> to make sure that the last guy does not do anything stupid. And there's a tracking shot. So far, everything according to plan. This should trigger. All right, bring it on. Hmm. 
This does not have an auto loader, right? Laser side, hair trigger, superior stock, but not an auto loader. Okay. Okay, so Hayward. Moves up. Kills one. Very nice. Let's just remove the overwatch for now, shall we? Good. Good, got implacable if needed. Sniper's next. Let's get that trooper. Cool. And next up, we can hit and kill that mech or it's just Those shotgun to the face so as always Those guys are a dime a dozen. Ready to rock. got some nice little reload I think the snipers need to also begin to move in. They are falling too far behind elsewise. No need to ask twice. And eight five. Roger that. Moves to there. Snipers are moving up. And that's it. Power cells are at maximum charge, Commander. Their cannon is primed and ready to fire. It's time to make the elders proud. There's an art to what I do. Alright. Need to take care of something. Let's continue here. So I would like us to care for the advance. Get the snipers to the front line and use really one around just to reload and to get our affairs in order. Good. On Overwatch, got it covered. Not heavy sotto. Back online. Locked and loaded. Moving go. Overwatch. Got it covered. Okay, we still have plenty of time. There are two difficult packs typically roaming around. One left, one right. And the fact that there's so much destruction here kind of implies that there is a sector pod on the left hand side. Mm. 
So I'm wondering what the right hand pack is. Let's see if this triggers. Okay, so that's two sector pods. We have hopefully not triggered both, no. Good, but we know there is a huge pack there, so the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to abuse the fact that this here explodes for 35 points of damage. So that pack is almost down. Alright, see you later, alligator. Ooh. The elders have plenty more to spare. Good work out there. The uh, is one heavily injured sector pot now. just need to mop up the remaining enemy forces. Moving up, we need to remove cover and get under their skin. Let's see, can we? No, we cannot. There we go. Shredding incoming. Continuing the shred. Perfect. That's a fully shredded sector port. Ooh, that would be so good. Now let's try to kill it in a few uh, in a few shots. Nice! What a massive whooping hit! Look at that, almost immediately gets it down. Untouchable and implacable. In Using implacable and where is your body right there looks like an advanced teamwork to me and it looks like reaper time two four six eight ten twelve uh, it's not a hundred percent kill which i cannot allow It's over here. Fifty fifty misses. That's a setup for a little bit later. over here trooper 
Oh, trooper dies. Well, that's not bad either. That's a kill. And Reaper keeps it going. Oh, not far enough. All right. Never mind. We can stay in the open. That's fine because we got untouchable. Sector port is almost down. Okay, should only be able to see um, to. Uh, see Endors, and he has Untouchable. He's burning now. Close one. Something must be off. I'm not sure what the elders expect me to do with the planet for their pet projects. I'm not looking to run a zoo. Lots of overwatch there. Good to go. Let's try to hit them as good as we can. That's a fantastic hit. This free reload? Yeah. He is still not shredded, so that needs to change. ASAP. That's the best I can do. Get ready for a surprise. You might as well start throwing rocks. Good. I tell you I tell you what, I do have an idea. A good one, I think. Which is let's hit these two up here. That will take away all of uh, the problems that we do have with both of them and we can focus completely and solidly on the Chosen. Into cover. I would like uh, to mark him first. That'll make it easier for us to hit him. Great hit.
a protocoling ourselves and then comet protocol that hopefully gets him down cool problem solved over here okay we're dealing a little bit of damage nothing completely out of the ordinary but okay all right sorry needed a short further break let's finish uh, this turn very good time to get the max down wow nice And those front lines uh, with death from above, um, with untouchable. I'm on the move. Moving on target location. Good, everybody kind of takes the next okay. position. And it's just one heavily injured uh, sector port left. That should not be the biggest problem. Unless I'm completely dropping the ball. Overwatch. Overwatch. Reload. Overwatch. All right. Haha, sector pod comes. There we go. wanted to prevent that from happening the full the whole mission as such but for a uh, mm, defend the avenger mission that was fun the chosen off the avenger for now commander but i'm sure they'll be back we need to keep working with the factions to track their position the sooner we take them out the better Okay, so got a scope, an advanced scope actually, which isn't bad, and quite a bit of wreckage. Also another promotion. Ripper here. Gets return fire, which is good. Retribution, but the best one is combat panners. Up an unsecured transmission from some clown calling himself Van Dorn. Doesn't sound like the kind of recruit we're looking for. Okay, well, now we do have more time to infiltrate the stronghold. Our action together is complete, Commander. We have recovered another piece of valuable information on the elders' vicious children. If we want to take out the chosen once and for all we good move to speed of all weapon research is increased doesn't help us really 
just have to make use of it. We might take the elders by surprise. Might want to get into his stronghold. That would be a good one. Including a promotion is actually fantastic. Uh, this one isn't bad either because we are struggling to get uh, to the higher ranks. So this year will help us to do exactly that. And any soldier can do it, which is a great advantage. So one, two, three, four, five. Where is inappropriate Murphy? Tired for eight um for eight days I can't let that uh, stop us we're going to visit that chosen wait 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 hmm all of will be almost ready and I don't want another hunter mission so... Hacking plus five, perfect for you. And Jacobo and you will do this in 15 days. Take a skirmisher and that solves our problem. Good, there is finally the Plasma Lands and the Shadowlands upgrade. Also, free shield bearer means experimental armor if we need it. I don't know if we really need any more intel, because we don't have uh, the, the black side. Could go for Gremlins uh, level 3. Or just first of all, powered armor. Let's do the Berserker Queen. Get her armor, and then we're doing powered armor next. I consider myself a patient man, but eventually, she's going to have to trust me if we're going to achieve our goals. Just give the word, and I'll get started, Commander. I'd like to get a better Good. look at that. Good. Need to wait a few more days. Matter of fact, um, nine, and then we get the the lands. Yeah, we need neither. Good. That will happen in the next episode. But we could get another engineer. Not necessarily needed, but I hate chrysalids, so we might just want to counter that. Um, scientist would not be bad, and <laughs> that wouldn't be bad either, but also not fun. Uh, given that this is only 11 people here, we're also going to fi uh, fight the warlock on top of it. But that'll be the mission that we, w uh, that we would want to do. And in a few days, we are going for an alien facility. But all of that happens in the next episode, like I mentioned. Uh, this one is long enough. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy what you are seeing, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.